Good morning. Uh, I'm Rob Van Ness, the head of school at the King's Academy. Uh, thank you for this wonderful privilege of leading uh, us in prayer today. And so let us uh, now join our hearts and minds together as we come to uh, the throne of grace. Heavenly Father, your son Jesus shared with us the parable of the prodigal son to remind us that you are a faithful and good father. The graphic word picture of you running to your lost and rebellious son brings us peace and hope, giving us freedom and confidence to accept your invitation to come boldly to your throne, to confess our sins and to share our hearts, concerns and praises with you. And so we come to you today as your grateful children who you have lavished your grace upon. Thank you, Jesus, for being obedient to the Father and giving your life for all who would believe. Thank you for taking the full weight of our sin and giving us your righteousness so that we can stand before the Father with a humble confidence that he is pleased with us because of your sacrifice on our behalf. Holy Spirit, thank you for drawing us to the Father and living in us to guide us in our journey of faith here on earth. Thank you for assuring us that we are the children of God who have been accepted by the Father because of the selfless sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding us when we move away from following the Father's will. Forgive us for the times that we grieve you. And thank you, Father, that you mysteriously superintend our personal salvation from start to finish. Thank you for the gift of faith to receive your grace. Thank you for the promise of freedom from the penalty and power of sin as we walk this earth. And thank you for the freedom from the presence of sin we will one day experience when we join you and those who have gone before us. We are grateful that our salvation is not dependent upon our works, for we are broken and imperfect people and capable of living up to your standard of holiness. Thank you for the promise in your word that there is now, therefore now, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set us free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. Help us to live in your promise that nothing can separate us from your love, especially when we struggle with tr how truly selfish and broken we are. Like the hymn writer of old, we confess that we are prone to wander and prone to leave the God we love. Forgive us for our self-sufficient pride and for seeking other wells unable to quench our thirst for you and your righteousness. We are undeserving but grateful for your promise to forgive us if we confess our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And thank you, Father, that there is no temptation common to man that you will not give us victory over. We thank you for our loving church family here at Trinity and ask you to guard and grow our relationships with one another as we seek to more deeply understand who we are in Christ. May your love compel us to more fully love one another and may that love spill over into our community as we serve as your ambassadors to our co-workers, friends, and neighbors. We thank you for our leaders, and we ask that you continue to grant them wisdom and unity as they shepherd this flock. We pray for Ellen and Sabdiel as they lead our youth, for William as he leads us in worship, for Annette as she faithfully leads our Hispanic congregation, for Joyce as she loves on us in very tangible ways, for Bill as he ministers to individuals behind the scenes, and for Matt who leads the staff, and all of us here as he teaches and encourages us in the gospel. We also ask for your wisdom and blessing on our deacons and elders who serve us in so many ways. We also thank you this morning for Trinity's commitment to Christian education as evidenced by their commitment to the King's Academy. We ask your blessing and guidance on the TKA Board of Directors, teachers, and staff as they faithfully provide an education integrated with the teaching of your character and truth. We especially ask for your blessing and safety in our students as they are currently serving around the world. Do your work in their, and through their lives according to your divine appointments for each one of our students and staff. As we seek your will in, our direction, in your direction in our individual and corporate lives this month, we ask that you will lead us in knowing how to pray and to have willing and excited hearts to walk by faith knowing that you are a good father. May all of us in the Trinity community be refreshed and renewed in, your, in our relationship to you and may each of us faithfully serve with joy to one another, our community and our world. In closing, we echo and receive the words of Jude and his benediction to your people. 
Now to him who is able to keep us from stumbling and to present us blameless before the presence of your glory with great joy, to the only God, our Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen.